excited about today's video because I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a mild, mild fa a fascia release, a fascia release. I can't say it, myofascial, whatever. So, um, adhesions are scar tissue, um, and you can get the scar tissue anywhere. It's not just for C-section moms, but C-section moms most likely get it because obviously we go through the surgery and then we get all the scar tissue and it gets all icky around here. And um, this can happen for anybody anywhere when our body goes through a lot of stress, tension, trauma. So it, this is good for everybody anywhere, but I'm just putting a special emphasis on um, C-section moms because there's not a lot out there for us. So I'm really excited and I'm two years postpartum and I'm still scared to touch that area. It's so scary getting there and it's so tender still. Even years later, I have people that are like 10, 15, 17 years postpartum and they still have that tenderness. And you know what? When we have that tenderness, we kind of shut these muscles down. We don't want to think about it. We want to look at it. Like everything here just shuts down and we kind of just let it be its own thing and we focus on other stuff, but this part is making everything else suffer without us even realizing it. So it's really important to release the tissue we have here so that we can get a full body function. Now I've shared before, don't think here on YouTube, um, but I've shared before on my TikTok and on my Instagram, about um, IASTM, which is Instrument Assist Soft Tissue Mobilization. And that's something like a physical therapist can do. They use these special tools and they like get it all loosened up for you. So you can do that. Um, there's special like massages you can do. You can do at home massages or with like a, someone that specializes in it. There's a bunch of things you can do, which um, I even tried one time there's like a ball you can place on it and lay a certain way. None of these things, which I didn't try all of them, but you know, some of these things I tried and attempted to do and stay on top of and it just didn't work out for me. So if you're new to, um, to me, <laughs> welcome. My name is Angelica. I have three kids, um, all via C-section. My oldest is a girl, her name is Juliana, she's eight years old. My middle child is Ari, he's a boy. A lot of people think Ari, think girl, but he's a boy. And he is about to turn six. And then my littlest one is Milo, also a boy, and he just turned two. So my mission in life is to help women, specifically mothers, but women in general, welcome. If you don't have children, the best time to learn all these things is before you have children. So my mission in life is to help women show up in their absolute best version. I believe in getting the most out of this life. I've had um, two parents who passed away from cancer and it was through lifestyle choices, unfortunately. Uh, so my mother passed away on my, well, the morning after my 21st birthday and then um, my in 2010. Um, so you can do the math on how old I am. I'm just kidding. I can tell you I'm about to turn 33, I think. <laughs> so my mom passed away on my 21st birthday the morning after. I always say she waited until it wasn't my birthday anymore. And my dad passed away a year and a half after that. And then a couple months later, my brother passed away um, right after my dad. So all of them were through cancer, all of them lifestyle choices that led them there. And I've been obsessed with finding a way to be healthy, a way to be more physical, a way to heal my body. Um, and I've just been obsessed with learning new things ever since then. And I feel like as I've gone along, it's been over 10 years. Um, and as I've gone through these motions, I am still learning so much and I feel like it's finally starting to align itself. So I'm very happy to bring you along in this journey and teach you everything I learn and um, just to get the most quality out of this life and to teach that to our kids and then just pass it on to make somebody's life easier um, to really make our, you know, put our imprint in this world. So I've never actually released the tissue here um, in my skin. <laughs> 
So this is a first time for me and I really am really excited about it. And let's get into it, I'm really excited. So if you don't know, I have been using Vanabilt for years and years and years, ever since my second born. Um, it started with the waist trainer and then I started using the gel. I am still horrible at using this, but it still works. Um, even though I don't use it twice a day, every single day, it still works. So again, I'm gonna try my best to use it twice a day, every single day. And I hope that you will join me in this challenge. So this is the Gel V and this helps um, with loose skin. So it helps tighten up your skin. It gets rid of stretch marks or helps the appearance of them. With me, I don't think it'll ever get rid of my stretch marks. However, it does help the appearance. And then I like to use the glove because this is really minty. So it can kind of, for some people, it could probably feel like a little sting, that cool minty like burn. Um, so I do like using this because then I don't have to get it on my skin and have that minty tingliness on my skin. And then I just kind of massage it everywhere. Um, you can use you can use this anywhere on your body that you want to touch up your arms, your thighs, your butt, wherever. I strictly just use it on my tummy and it lasts me for months. Well, obviously, because I don't use it twice a day, every single day. So it lasts me a really long time. It's pretty a generous amount. Um, so then I use that to massage it in. And then now I got this, which is the V cup. And we're gonna do the myo fat, myofascia release. <laughs> using these three items from Vanabelle. I will link all these things um, at the bottom of the description, um, and then you can decide for yourself if you choose to get them or not. I promise you won't be disappointed. So I hate to ramble, but I wanna be as thorough as possible with you guys. I have, so I have muscle definition. My weight fluctuates back and forth. I'm kneeling down right now. So um, you can see a little bit of overhang right here. So um, when you go through pregnancies, regardless if you have one, three, five, whatever, um, as you go through these pregnancies, you end up with looser skin. So that is my situation, regardless of having muscles or not. Um, and then as you fluctuate weight, um, start losing weight, sometimes it just becomes looser as you're losing weight. And I really wish I can take you lower to where my C-section scar is. It's right above, you know, my private area. So I can't really show you it without actually showing you my private. So I won't be able to show you my C-section scar. However, I'll take you through this whole thing. But um, right now I've kind of gained a little bit of weight. Um, it's not terrible, but for my body, like you start to see, you know, the looser skin because I've gained some more weight and I'm actually glad because I'm gonna try to lean over a little bit. Um, you can see that it's pretty loose. And then when I go like this, do you see this line right here? Okay, and so it goes like this. This is what they call a B-belly and you might have that too. Um, so it's not the line from like a six pack or anything, not like this, not the definition you see here. Um, this is completely different. Um, it's just from the tension, um, from the lower, the tension from the, the fascia that I have here. So this is off tension that I have holding here and I need to work on releasing that. Um, and I also have it at the, at the bottom. So again, I wish, really wish I can show you, but it's almost like two folds. So I have, and it's not horrible. I'll actually, you know what? I have a picture, so I'll show it right here and um so it's a little bold right there and then with this it's that this little bee the thing they call it a bee belly so i'm going to show you um step by step how to do this so your first section you're going to jump in the shower i like taking a steaming hot shower i have yet to meet a woman that doesn't take a hot steaming shower. So jump in, jump in there, do all the motions, wash your hair if you're washing it that day, um, shave, wash your body, whatever. Kill some time, maybe about 10 minutes. And once your skin's already nice and relaxed from all the steam, 
soak up your body wherever you're gonna do this at, but I'm just showing you the stomach. So when you're in the shower, you're gonna very lightly cup it onto your stomach. And you know it's on there lightly because you won't feel any huge pull and then you can just pop it right off. If you do too much and it's harder to get off, don't panic, just squeeze it again and it'll release itself. So squeeze to put on, that's too big. So if you're squeezing it all the way, you're gonna get a bigger suction. So you just wanna do a very light squeeze and then it should pop off very easily. If you do a huge squeeze and you accidentally did that, just squeeze it again and it'll release it. So you wanna just try just a tiny bit in the shower and it should glide easily everywhere. And if it's not gliding easier, if it's not gliding easy, you either don't have enough soap or you probably have a lot of tension. Like I have a lot of tension right here which is crazy. So that's why I also like using this because it massages. So in the shower, it's easy to do like the first round. It's easy to do the first round of it, just kind of do it lightly all over the place and then even on that area. So when you get to that area, it gets very scary. But if you take your time and just very slowly, I like to stretch the skin up and then very lightly, test it out and I do just the squeeze right there. I don't move it. I just let it like suction that area just a little bit to release whatever tension it can from that light section, suction. And then I release it and I move along the whole line of my abdomen. So then I go back again and then I kind of move up and then you're gonna have different restrictions in your, in your stomach. You might have more restriction here might have more restriction here, which is my case, like I said, with the B belly. So right here, I would kind of let it suction. And then eventually I would suction more and more, more and more, and more and more until I did all the way. And then I would just let it sit there for a second. It actually felt really good. Like it was that good kind of, I wouldn't say pain, um, but it is like kind of like touching a bruise. Um, so it's kind of that weird, weird kind of feeling where you have to check if it still actually hurts. Um, so I kept doing that and I really, really took my time with it. And eventually I got comfortable enough to do a very light suction again and move along the whole area. Just a warning, if you use this in the shower, it can rust. So just be mindful that you might want to dry it off when you're done in the shower if you take this in the shower with you. So once you get out of the shower and you dry off, you're gonna put a little bit of this and you might have to add more depending if your skin soaks it all up and then just massage it everywhere. And you're kind of gonna do, and then you're just gonna go through like the same motion. So just, up and down and it feels so good. It's literally like a massage and then move over to the opposite side. And then you can play around with, um, again, how much suction you want to do. I feel like I'm pretty comfortable today. I am a little sore right here where I kept going over this spot. It was so addicting to me to keep going over that tension. Like I said, it's like touching a bruise to see if it still hurts. Like I could not stop going over that, that area. And I have some restriction here. So I kind of just go in different directions just to see which way feels good. And kind of, kind of just have to play with it a little bit. And if your skin starts to dry out, you might have to use some more. You can use oil, you can use lotion, but I really like using this because I want it on my skin anyways. So I'm using a very generous amount now. And 
you can feel different parts. It's such like a crazy feeling to feel like where it glides and where it's like actually moving your body. Like you can feel something just shifting and it's crazy. It's like mind blowing. So this is my bee belly. If you have one, if you have one, sometimes people have it up here. I like to just suction it up, kind of just pull right where that line is at, release, and just up and down motions, and then side to side. And it hurts so good. And of course I would do my C-section area as well, but I can't do that on camera. And then you can do this all the way to your sides. So they hold a lot of tension as well. And so I'll be doing this twice a day. This is the first round for me. And then after my shower, I'm gonna do it again. So you can start with just once a day, whatever your preference is for how long you feel comfortable. Um, and just really make it your own, your own tolerance. I really feel like a difference immediately when I do this. And I just let it sit there. You can go along, along down as far as your bee belly goes. I mean, some people have it straight up and down. Sometimes there is, sometimes it goes this way as opposed to mine going this way, if I mix up. So just release all that, all that tension. All right, so now that I'm done with mine, I feel like I did an okay job. I didn't get the area down here because again, can't do that on camera, but um, I feel good. And I'm gonna tie that all in with my belt now. All right, so I'm gonna lock that all in with my waist trainer because I am gonna do, um, I'm actually filming another workout for you guys right now. So make sure you check that video out too. Um, it's gonna be tummy tuck workout, no knees. So you'll love that workout. So anyways, I'm gonna lock this all up. And then once I can take a shower, I'm gonna do it in the shower. And then immediately when I get out of the shower. And um, so it's really, it is actually quite simple. I really love it. I'm obsessed with it. Out of all the options I've seen, um, this by far is the easiest because you're in control. Um, it's cheap. <laughs> um, you don't have to drive anywhere. You do it from the comfort of your own home at your own pace. And um, I just, I really, really love this option. And I can't believe I never tried it before. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helps you. I hope it changes the whole ball game for you with that area. And please let me know if you try it. Um, join me in this challenge. This is, um, I just tried it briefly last night. So this is really day one for me. Um, let's check in in 30 days and see how it goes. I really, really hope that I stick to doing it twice a day. So I can't wait to hear if you're joining me on this. So let's hold each other accountable on it. So thank you for watching and I will be back to update you guys on this topic specifically in 30 days, but continue to watch my channel, subscribe, like, share, um, and check back regularly. I post every single week. So I'm excited and until next time.